Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today we're going to take a look at an old Alice Chalmers tractor and start it up and drive it a little if we can and kind of tell the history of it. So, the only thing I know, it's an Alice Chalmers 200. It was made from 1972 to 75. It's listed as a 100 horsepower tractor. So, what else can you tell us about these old tractors? Well, I can tell you about the history of this one. Uh, my dad bought it uh, in the late 70s, maybe early 80s. I was four or five years old whenever we got it. Uh, we used it for uh, till the early 90s. It had an engine issue, uh, just got parked. We sold the farm. Uh, my brother's in-law's family bought it, fixed it back up. He no long longer had a use for it, and my brother bought it back. So my question, my thought is, in 1972, 1975, what was a common use for a tractor like this? Is this, this was a, hay a tractor? This was a primary tillage tractor. No, this was this was the heavy horse on your farm. Uh, Alice Chalmers made two track two tractors bigger than this one, three tractors bigger than this one at the time, uh, and uh, but this was towards the top end. The the 210 and 220 were just 10 more, you know, 10 and 20 more horsepower. So this was back, back in those days, it was four row planters, six row planters. If you were a big farmer, you had an eight row planter. And now that's, you know, small yeah. time. Yeah, but... nobody even uses those anymore. So what were you guys farming with this machine right here? Uh, we, we were uh, farming this field and here we had, maybe at that point in time, whenever he bought it, we had four to 600 acres that we were farming. We had uh, a 190 and a 200, which, it weird the way they did it the 190 had the same horsepower the 190 xt that we had had the same horsepower as this one uh he this one would plow and disc uh, back then you had mold board plows it pulled a five bottom plow uh, and disc with it uh, he primarily used the 190 to uh, to plant we had a four row john deere planter whenever i was really young and then we bought a international harvester six row planter later on which the tractor that I bought ended up pulling. So this, I looked on Tractor by Ned, it said this was a $14,000 tractor new. Does that sound sound yeah. right? Or is that a 14000 now, I wonder? No, it's that's what it sold for then. That's the way Tractor by Ned works. I mean, I know how inflation works, but can you imagine a 100-horsepower a tractor for $14,000? <laughs> well, and these were, this was a... a Kind of a new body style. Alice Chalmers was kind of led the way there for for a while. It really wasn't John Deere uh, on innovation. Uh, they were built in West Allis, Wisconsin, and uh, there's uh, just as many big shows with probably not just as many. There's a lot of big shows where the guys have uh, restored these tractors and and they have big uh, big orange days or they'll you know they they play off the off the orange. Uh, Alice Chalmers ceased to exist and. In like 86 or 87, they were bought by Deutz. And, uh, you know, today, they're, if you need parts for them, you go to an Agco dealership. All right. So let's talk a little bit more about the features and specs on this. So would it have had this do-all loader? No, no. That, that's something would, that was added after we sold it. It probably had no loader at no, all originally? No. Then. No, they didn't, come with, they didn't come with stuff like that. You bought all that stuff after the fact. And I've... I, Dad's old Toro tractor has a do-all loader, so they just yeah. kind of made them for everything. Yeah, they were pretty. Yeah. Uh, th this has all kinds of different bolt holes on the side to hold different size loaders. Uh, Westendorf was a big uh, uh, manufacturer of, of aftermarket loaders in that period of time. Now, what about the cab? That's original. That was that's original. And it had an air conditioner that yep. worked very rarely. Rarely, that's occasionally. Really designed air conditioner they they actually make kits now so you can convert, convert it to a uh, air conditioner that works much better and that's just i yeah. mean at that time like i mean cars didn't have an air conditioner in 1972 did they i don't know i don't yeah i think so i, I think you could uh uh you know my favorite body style of chevy pickup is 67 to 72 and i believe you can you can get could have gotten those with factory air but no it was an option definitely well, an option well let's take a walk around it take a look if you were just guessing how much when it was newer i know it might have hydraulic issues now but how much do you think this loader could lift oh i don't know we never uh, we never exceeded what it could lift because you oh, mainly we, we, we have never uh exceeded what it could lift so 
You know what? Who manufactured the engine? Is Alice, it an Alice, Alice Chalmers, Chalmers engine? Yeah. Yeah, they made generators. They made, uh, I mean, like electrical generation, like for power plants and stuff like that, and industrial engines. They made uh, dozers, loaders, road graders. This is not the original, original tires. Well, it's not original tires. It's the same tire that was on it when we sold it in 1994. Uh, that is not the right paint color on those wheels. It's uh, it's more of an ivory color. Alice changed that a few times over the years, but uh, it's not uh, that is not the original color that they were. Okay, so you've got two sets of rear remote hydraulics. Would that have, that was a yep, factory that's option? Came. Uh, the previous owner put these uh, different style on there because they're much easier to uh, get the, the hydraulic hoses in it. Uh, he's an older gentleman, so. It was. It was a. It is a chore to put those put those old ones in there. Okay, and uh, this is a 1,000 RPM PTO. Yep. But it's reversible to make it a 540. Yeah, you take. Uh, uh, we only did it one time because uh, we only had one attachment that had a, a 1,000 PTO on it. But uh, when we did, we ran it, the tires up on blocks to so the nose was pointed down, and it was a real quick process. I don't remember. We, what it was because i mean i was eight or nine years old but we took some bolts out and pulled this out spun it around slapped it back in there tightened the bolts back down it's got a seal back in there somewhere i know tractors now you have it like an o-ring or a uh, snap ring you take that clip out of there flip it over and put it back in and you're done but uh this one required bolts Climb up in the cab right quick. Just very standard uh, gauges on here, an RPM gauge, water temp gauge, amp, uh, amperage gauge, uh, your headlights. Down here, uh, this does not start, you get the key there. This is the injection pump. This is for the injection pump. Um, actually don't remember what a couple of these things are. Here's the uh, shift pattern and your uh, speeds for each one of them. <clears throat> Have your uh, hydraulics. It's actually got, oh, this is for the three, this is for the three point. This is for the two SCVs. Then you have your throttle and your high-low range. This is what you would use to um, uh, for the three-point to uh, control how deep it goes. This up here, obviously, that's not factory. Uh, that th those are. This is this is not. These switches are not. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm would imagine he, the previous owner, added those to control the extra lights. We'll go ahead and start it up here. Make sure the out is on. You got this little button here. Well, the old girl ain't wanting to start today. It wants to.
Like the day she came off the showroom. Yeah. The other, uh, like newer tractors, I mean, not necessarily the, the size that you have, but the big farm tractors, they're, they're rated to run maybe, some of the newer fence are even down around 1600 RPM is their max RPM, uh, 16 to 2100, somewhere in that range. This one uh, was rated to run at, at 2500 RPM. So you ran this thing, it, it sinks. It really, really whistles. Especially you get out and you put a load on it, that turbo spins up. It would really, really whistle really loud. But it's got an injector problem too. So well, I think it's a cool old tractor. I like it when see people keep them running. Yeah. Still, you know, use it sometimes if possible. A lot, a lot of memories wrapped up in there too, running it with dad and mom. And mom uh, would work on the farm and, and uh, come work ground and stuff. And then me, whenever I got old enough, not so much in this one specifically, but uh, I, I know I ran it by myself, but not near as much as I ran some of the other ones because we had to. I think we burned a piston is what happened. So, and uh, locked it up. Anyway. Well, I appreciate you taking time to show us. We appreciate you taking time to watch. I'll put links on the screen to more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.